we're trying this again. And then I'm gonna need the YouTube link. <laughs> Oh, bear with me. Is this right? Say something and see if it flips to you. Hello. It did. Okay, I'm not messing with any more settings. Making sure it works. Hey, and YouTube's live too. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Back in business. Back in business. We're rolling. There, YouTube link is in your thing. It's in your Tumblr, which we'll call it. <sighs> no, it's I not. Think. Yes, it is. Huh. I reblogged your thing with a new link. I mean, we're back to zero viewers. <laughs> and it's buffering. Oh, that is. I Can you throw this link in the link to the old video? But can you throw... Can you throw the link into the old video? No. Yes. In the comments. I think a few people were waiting there to get a link. Like, I don't even know how to get over there. That's the problem. It's on your channel, you dumbass. <laughs> I, no, I can't go. I can go to the comments, but I don't know if I can go into the chat or anything. Because it's already been completed. Oh, yeah. But just, just throw it in the comments. Chat disabled for this live stream. Nope. I don't even see an option to comment. Ah, if people are determined enough, they'll find it. <laughs> we have three viewers, so that's something. One of them's me. I don't know if the other one's you. The other one's me. Okay, so we have one we have two viewers. Hey, how you doing today? Welcome to the train wreck that is Rachel being in charge of something. <laughs> how wrong is that? <laughs> okay, getting the questions pulled up. I need to sign in, continue as Rachel. Which sounds weird because I never go by Rachel anymore. So we're just chilling. Do you want to wait for a few more people to come on? Uh, yeah, I'm just making the post. Well, you're slow. Hey, hi, Megan. Hi, Victoria. <clears throat> you guys. I'm sorry. I will. Hi, Megan. Hi, Victoria. I will respond. I'm just making a Tumblr post. <laughs> uh, you're, the worst. you're the worst. She's the worst, guys. I know. What with you? A big snap, and I don't care who joins. Apparently, no. Yeah. I'm just. I. I, I care. I, I love that you want to join. I'm just. Turn. I, turn I, guys, I, my mind is very one track. I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> but if you're rude, that's how you get suspended from work. Yeah. The story behind that um, while she's making her post. I, got, I didn't have to go into work yesterday because apparently I was so rude, I got suspended. Which, in my suspension, I applied for other jobs. And then, and I, you were already applying for the joke, so jokes on them. This is true. I was already. I'm. I, I'm applying with new intensity. I decided I'm going to the job fair Wednesday. And yeah, it's a good thing it's the start of the year because then the job openings, the people that end at school. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm excited. See we got. Okay, so we have four people now. Two of them are us, darling. Yeah, and I'm assuming that the other two are Megan and Victoria. Yes. That would make logical and mathematical sense. You asked me to do this for you. I know. 
I'm just I'm I'm, I'm considering how to punish you later. <laughs> You asked for this. I know. And I reg I literally regretted five seconds after I asked you. <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> not my problem at all. Do we want to wait a little bit longer or do you want me to go ahead and start? Well, that's up to you. You you are the you're the reporter this time, so <laughs> it's up to you. You act like I actually know what how to do it. I thank you, Megan. I appreciate that. This is just how we normally are bickering and such. I'm looking <laughs> a little but less exactly. name calling so far. Yeah, I know this is kind of <laughs> this is pretty tame for us. <laughs> this is, we're we're doing good. <clears throat> Victoria, why are you watching this at work? <laughs> I Yay! I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's just be idiots when you should be doing a real job. <laughs> means if you're, if you're working right now and you're watching this, that means you're getting paid to watch this. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's a pretty sick gig. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so. Aw, I'm sorry. We're just gonna chill for. I think we're just gonna good, good to chill for a second. And anyone who wants last minute questions sent in, throw them in my inbox. That's pulled up. I don't know if Kari's gonna keep an eye on hers because she's got to think about all of her answers. I I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep an eye on mine. I think so. Just if you got any questions, send them to Rachel or just ask them in the comment section, and we will try and keep an eye on that. The yeah. comment section okay. is probably the easiest for us. That would be the chat box because you can't comment yet. Okay, just do what Rachel says. <laughs> Should we get started, Thomas? Yeah. And you know, I, it's, I need to tell a story first because I always called Rachel the cash to my dean because she does the head tilt and get very easily confused. And I always called her a dumbass because, well, she is. <laughs> And uh, I, and now she is canonly my dumbass because Dean decided to call Cass a dumbass on the show. So now she can't even fight the dumbass. <laughs> my hands are tied. We ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. All righty. Okay, that sucks for a job. I'm sorry. Sitting on your ass and answering phones. I hate being on the phone. I'm so sorry for you. You you should be allowed to watch our live stream and laugh. <laughs> I mean, I kind of, I kind I I think I would rather sit in front of the computer and answer phones than what I do now. Yeah. I work in fast food, guys. Like, like customers straight lie, and that's what got me suspended. Well, I mean, half the time I was. It was it was a bad situation. A customer straight lie. I'm, I'm the 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 video is kind of behind on what we actually say. There's a delay, so when you write wait wait ah, uh, I'm not really sure what you're responding to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Here's but okay. A delay. Yeah, so okay. Should we get going? I I've been trying to go. You're the one that keeps stopping me. Yeah, well, it's your job as a journalist to stop my ramblings. <laughs> you act like I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> if you see me looking at my phone, it's because I have all of our questions pulled up because I already have enough tabs pulled up as is. Where do we send ads? You can ask to me. Rachel is my supernatural fix. Okay, just put into the chat box. 
Yeah, Ensemble. And you can send asks there or you can ask in the comments. Here on YouTube. Does that clear up? I just kind of want to hang tight for two seconds just to make sure that clears up. And yeah. Caught up in the live stream gets caught up with where we are in real time. I think we got four people watching now. No, five. Hey, we're famous. Seven. We're famous, guys. No, no water. <laughs> I'm so sorry to everyone who decided to ask. <laughs> this, for this, this is how you guys are spending your Friday afternoon. <laughs> like, but this is what you choose to do. I mean, of course, this is what I choose to do. I had to ask off of <laughs> Yeah, but we also choose to do this on a regular basis. So. Yeah. And I'm still not sure why, right? I get, what? I was trying to insult you, but when you're being dumb, it's not easy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the first question. This one comes from Winchester Writes. Hi, Rosie. Yeah. This it says, for your second anniversary, that's awesome, by the way, what do you love most about writing? Like, does it help get over certain feelings or problems at the moment, or do you like that it helps escape to a different world? I don't think it's an escape because I generally like the world that I'm in. Um, but yeah, I guess it helps me work through some issues sometimes. But it's also just, since I was a little girl, I have been making up stories in my head and playing in them out with dolls and with Legos and whatnot. Um, and now I'm just, I grew up and it's not socially accepted to play with Legos and dolls anymore. So now I write. Tell about it. I think the characters, I think I, I'm a psych major. So getting to explore the emotions and reactions and, and stuff of different people. I, I think that's putting putting people in, in extreme situations and making them cope is probably what I I enjoy the most. And that would be my series for the most part. <clears throat> Basically just like torturing your characters. Which I'm actually doing at the moment, so, but I'm not allowed to say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so our next one's from Dean's Leather. Hi, Maddie. And it says, hope you don't mind if I ask a couple. So what's your writing process? Do you just outline or do you just write? Um, it, series are always outlined. Um, but all, almost all ways outlined. The... The party series that I'm writing right now didn't have an outline. I just had an idea where I wanted it to go and a starting point. And I kind of went from there. Um, I have I, I still don't have an outline for it, but I have an idea on, on what I wanted to happen in the different chapters. Rachel said that I outlined it by gifts because I found gifts and... <laughs> And stuck yes, onto the different chapters. For every chapter, and I'm just gonna like, I find gifts through the gift search when I'm trying to host a chapter. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but usually, yeah, series I outline. And they are pretty detailed outlines. I also have character, um, character descriptions and, and, and stuff for the different series and sometimes i have timelines as well if especially if i'm dealing with a lot of pregnancies and stuff like i was in in when you least expect it and also kind of in in um what is it called living with regrets i can't remember my own series name. It's your favorite one though how did you You're yeah that's, that's the one that i'm the most proud of and i forgot the title well done um but 
I outline for the most part. For one shots, I don't always outline. I just have, if I have a song prompt or something like that, I have the lyrics to one side and I just start writing. Uh, and I mostly go out the feel of the song. I don't use the lyrics like some people do. I don't stick a chorus into the text and just write off that. I just go from the entire feel of the song. All right, so the next one is gonna be, where'd where it go? I lost track of mine. What ambience do you like to have, music or not? So I like that one, music or not. A lot of people like to listen, so what do you think? Yeah, um, most of the time I have music. It kind of depends if I'm, I'm riding on the bus or if I'm riding at my parents' house or, um, Hi, mom. Love her. If, or if I'm riding at work or, on just going from A to B, I don't have music. I can, I, I, but when I sit down and get important scenes wrote up, I have actual playlists that are gonna fit the moods. I have, I have a few angst playlists and a few fluff playlists and a smutty one somewhere I haven't used in God knows how long, but I have it somewhere. <laughs> but I have, I have playlists to set moods. She, she's got that like seventies porn music going. <laughs> no, <laughs> I I have a few eighties that were actually used on the show. Though. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever works, whatever gets you going. All right, we the next question is actually, what do you love most about your own writing? I feel like we touched on this a little bit. So, what do you like particularly about your own writing? I don't understand the question. <laughs> You have you have access to all of these questions. Why didn't you do your homework? <laughs> um, I think I missed that. You you failed the assignment. You failed the class. Like, what do you yeah. what do you love about your writing? What makes your well, writing I, I, besides how I write or or what? Let's go with both. Let's just go. Let's just um, do I like I like try new genres I think or new styles um I like as much as I grumble to mostly Rachel about it or Erin or Anna so much <laughs> I don't really like doing the same thing over and over again <clears throat> I like trying to I tr let's just say I like to make things as hard as humanely possible for myself when I sit down and write amen and then Bits to Rachel about it while I write. <laughs> and then yeah. All right. um, and I, I guess it's kind of the same thing that I like about my writing is that I don't think that it is. I think that I have a style somewhat, but it. I don't think that my. I don't think my one sets get similar, and I don't think that my series are similar. I think that I have a few tropes that I like to use more than others but don't go into that yet we have we have that later okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do your homework. this is what i did my homework i came to <laughs> just tell me to shut up i even dressed nice for you which is a hand-me-down I, I didn't this is the shirt is a hand-me-down for my little sister i just walked through the door and sat down in front of my laptop i didn't do makeups uh I'm I'm wearing one of my favorite dresses, so so that's that. Tank <clears throat> top from our perspective, so they they couldn't see you sticking your tongue out. So ha ha, I win. Alrighty, getting back on track. What do you find most fulfilling about writing? Um. That's not an answer. Uh. Also when I'm done. When I'm when when I have written a chapter that has been so hard and has taken so much work and that my beta has left a million comments on, I'm looking at Anna right now because I know that she's not here, but she's gonna watch it later. <laughs> and I just sent her a chapter of Killzone that was around 3K, and I got 180 notes back on that chapter. So blame her for not being out this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Rachel is not much better, and Erin is definitely not better either. Um, I'm I'm the most mild though. <laughs> yeah. 
I got that going. But I, but I think I, as much as I hate editing the stuff, I love the feeling that when it's done and I know that it is better than my first draft. So as much as much as I hate these girls, I really love that they put me through hell. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's all we got from Dean's Leather, who finishes up with Love You, Kari. Congrats on two years. All right, and we have, oh, we have one from Anonymous. It says, I got an idea for a series, but I'm not sure how to turn it into an actual story. What do you do? Um, you put down your idea, and then you start to pick it apart. Uh, you start, you... You start to select scenes that you think are gonna be really, really important, and then you're gonna tie them together slowly. I have I have a lot of ideas that that stay ideas, I think, because I don't have time to sit down and do this. But if I have a, an idea I feel strongly about, I write down the main plot lines of the story, and then. I am trying to figure out how I get from A to B. I just put in little pointers on how to get um, I I knew that if I use living with regrets as an example, that one was a drabble that became a one shot. And I knew how I wanted I had two possible endings from that one for that one, but that was all I had. <coughs> I didn't. I didn't know how they were gonna interact or how Jensen was gonna react when he found out about Becca or anything. So I just sat down and I knew that he was going to meet his daughter. I knew that he didn't know necessarily if she was his daughter, and I knew that they were gonna find out that she was. And that was the three things that I had, and I just had to fill out the plot. So I just came up with small stories and put in between the major plot lines, if that makes sense, and work it out that way. And that's pretty much what I do every time. I have a big idea, and then I need to get a lot of small ideas to make it fit. I think it's funny that something else she does, um, especially with um, Living With Regrets, is you have so much. And then after you're in your series is done, I'm sorry, guys. my friends are texting me I'll shut them up <laughs> this is the problem with group and having friends they all want to get dinner tonight so I'm just kind of like I'll chill with you later it's fine you can you can chill or I'll answer when Kari's rambling on about the next question because I've heard it all before <laughs> living with regrets she's got all of this big this big universe and she has all of these drabbles so it's like it, it feels so complete like, like, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It's just, that, it's like just that's, uh, that's the thing with most series is that I have a lot of ideas that written down that never makes it onto the page. And you don't have to be sad about it not making onto the page because it still adds to the feel of the series. Even if I had never done all of those travels, it would still have helped me to know all the things that she went through when she was not with Jensen when she was raising a daughter on her own or, or all the things that are happening between chapter 9 and chapter 10 where I did a time jump. Um, it still helps me write part 10 that I know that they have been married and I know that they are having another kid and I know that the kid is... Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's, a, it's an old series that has quite a few notes, so I, I'm kind of assuming that people have read some of it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my inbox real quick. We have an ask from Megan's, Megan's Escape. I like that URL. It's pretty. And it says, congratulations, yeah. and then smiley faces. What is your favorite genre to write? And I think we actually have that question later down in the um, document, but we'll get to that, and I'll just deal with that when we get there, but what's your favorite genre? Um, I think it's a mix. I know that fan fiction like to put it into three little boxes. They like to put smart and fluff and angst. 
but I don't really think that <laughs> smart is is kind of the only one that you can box on your own. You can have a fake that is just smart with nothing else. But angst and fluff are kind of tied together. It's it if you can have a drabble that's just fluff for for the sake of it. But if you want a one shot. You can't have everything be happy all the way through, and you can't have a series where everything is happy all the way through. You can you can do strawberry wine was majorly fluff, but I still had that's my favorite, guys. Strawberry wine is one of my favorites. Yeah, but I still had had her not knowing if she was ever gonna see him again. So it still had it still had angsty uh, futuristics, but. Um, but I think it's it's a it's a mix between fluff and angst. I don't think writing hardcore angst and torturing people and and killing people and ending relationships and killing babies and whatnot I have done. Um, oh, she does enjoy. <laughs> is I do I do enjoy the reaction it gets, but it takes a lot out of me to write those things. Very true. Um, so I think I think I like angst or and um, 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 a mix between angst and fluff because I don't think you can write good angst without having fluffy moments. And we have actually talked about this extensively when <laughs> when when I have gotten Rachel to beta my angst once in a while. See always. Yeah, I, I see. I hate angst, guys. I hate it. It's just I I want I like fluffy and. I mean, smut's fine, but fluffy is like my fluff keeps my heart. So she's like, it's a mix of both. I'm like, I don't want my, I don't want <laughs> them. I just want tooth, crimp, tooth ache, cavity, and fluff. <laughs> yeah, but you actually also tell me when I write angst that I need to add more fluff to them. That's what you usually do. And she's right. It, the more, the happier the moments are, the more it's gonna hurt when you tear it all apart. So, so you you can't have one without the other necessarily. So I think it's a mix. And about smart, it's not. I'm not hating on smart. I'm just. Mm, it it just gets a lot of the same writing. Uh, there's there's only so many ways you can write smart. Um. And I think I mostly have it in my series now. And it's 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 rare that I write smut for a one shot. All right, so that wraps up our conversation about genres. And I don't know what that was in the background. But this is from Speaking of the Devil, Percy Winchester twenty seven. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's the devil. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. We love her dearly. We don't right now because I got well, 180 unattended notes on Killzone. <laughs> and she asks, congr- well, she says first, congrats on two years, less than three. Heart, that means the heart. Less than three. I thought that was funny. Okay, my question is, how do you stop yourself from being repetitive? There are obviously some tropes, plot points that every writer prefers more than t- more than more to another oh my god i mean some styles and languages ways of writing that they favor more how do you avert yourself from subconsciously ending up with similar stuff in stories after a certain point i think i'm aware um i have had ideas that i have just scrapped because i feel like they have been too close to something else that i have written in the past um but other than that, I don't think that I'm completely not. I think that I am partial to the friends to love us trope and the enemies to love us trope. And I think that I'm partial to babies in my fix. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. everyone loves Dean with a baby. But this is true. Across and Vincent with a baby. <laughs> can we can we put time out and talk about that picture right quick? Because oh my yeah, see that's that's the reason why there are a lot of babies in my pictures. That's because he tweets stuff like that. Yeah, like, when you give us pictures of him cuddled up on the couch with his three kids, I, I, 
you're trying to break us, right? Really? Yeah. No more kids. He's not allowed. <laughs> Especially not when they come in twos. <laughs> and I like that we lose Rachel every once in a while because you get really focused on that. <laughs> We're, okay, when you have a group chat and you're trying to make plans, I mean, I know all of these answers. I've heard all of this before. I'm just here to ask the questions. Okay. I'm not actually necessary here. I'm just fun to have. Let's go back to the inbox real quick. So we got some. We got some. You can't see me because she's talking, but I'm rolling my eyes so hard that there's a danger of me having to go to the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, okay, if you go to the hospital, then I can go to dinner early. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> and this, my friend. And now we are waiting for her, only for Dean line. <laughs> for those watching, this is why we call each other sisters. Yeah. Because I am more interested in getting out of here and going to get some food than I am in her right now. Okay, we talked about not... Touching on, we, we have some questions. I'm going to do straight up. We have some questions about some smut going on here. You do write smut. You don't hate on it. So let's get, let's, let's get these going. We're, okay. First time writer, but instead of writing reader, oh, this one's not actually about smut. I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm right. This is from anonymous. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. I'm just, you can't read a question. <laughs> there are two anons. Back to back, both of them talking about third and second point of view. One's smutty and one's not. Do you want okay. to do your job? G give me whichever you want to give me. <laughs> and both in the end, but okay. First time writer, but instead of writing reader fix, I write in third and second point of view. Do you have any advice on how to use better vocabulary and write better? Go for it. Instead of writing in first point of view, she writes in third and second. I do that too. I have written in first point of view once. Um, I don't like it. I don't usually like reading it either. There's a few people that can pull it off that way I don't notice. And Rachel is one. And Bev uh, over at chaos.com is another. Uh, I don't notice. She writes a lot of first person, but I didn't notice until she pointed it out to me. Uh, that means that she's doing. Well, and Rachel also wrote a one set that I beta for her, and I didn't think much of it. So I don't even that's, remember. Like I literally no. do not even remember. I write too much, guys. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, but but I I I don't really read chick flicks either for the same reason. Uh, chick flicks is a genre that's often written in the first person. And it annoys me. It anno I feel like the story is trying to tell me how to think as a writer because I read I. And it annoys the living daylights out of me. Um, in, in, in the author's defense, a lot of things annoy the living daylights out of you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what, do you, what about um, better vocabulary? Yeah. Um, but, but I don't think there's anything wrong with what I was trying to get to was I don't think there's anything wrong with writing second or third person in fan fiction or in any fiction. And I don't think there's anything wrong with writing first person either. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Um, and I, that, as, like I said, there are probably people that does it where I don't notice or there are people that are just so good writers where I bear with it um, because the story is that, that good. And I just... I look past the point of view. Uh, so it's not, I'm not saying that I won't read a fanfic that's written in the first person. I will. I'm just not willing to do it myself. Um, I did with Cass for a Cass fic once, and that's the only time that I think I have done it. Okay, and the second know. question was vocabulary. Um, more vac better vocabulary and write better. But what's just some general advice you have for writing better? If you're speaking, you're, and you're speaking to a first-time writer, so you're not talking to me here. You're ta let's see, they put it there. You're talking. If to I'm, if oh, I'm, so am I saying that right? It's gonna be read, 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 read. 
uh, vocabulary, I, my vocabulary has grown, as you might can tell. As I talk, I'm not a Native American, I'm not a Native anything. Uh, English as my second language, I'm Danish, I live in Denmark, I talk Danish from day to day. She does. So, annoys, that's, an, that's one thing that annoys the living hell out of me because I don't speak gibberish and she does. <laughs> yeah, but the thing, the thing is that if I want my vocabulary to grow, I need to speak to people. I need to talk to Rachel, I need to talk to my friends, I need to pick up on the things that they say and just work it into my own language when I speak and when I write. And the, another way to work sing into how you write is to read a lot from other authors. And if you're not a native speaker, then read stuff from native speakers. It doesn't help you if you read stuff from a con fellow countryman that, that uses the words wrong all the time. Then you will just think it's right and, and write it into your fix. And I'm not saying that there aren't people out there that are great writers that come from other countries. Uh, one of my favorite writers is from Greece, and she's an amazing writer. Um, and I don't really notice that she's not, um, yes, yeah, so that she's not a native speaker. <clears throat> Moving on, this, this, this is another from Anonymous. It says, this is a bit embarrassing, but how would you write smutty fix, not in reader insert, but in second or third point of view? Which I feel like a lot of, it is very, you, you, it's, well, it's easy to do. You can do it. Just take it away, Karina. <laughs> Just go and read my fix because I have written smutty fix and I, it is, I, I think that there's a distinction here that I don't really get. It can be reader insert in whatever point of view you want it to be. Reader insert just means that you insert a reader into the story. It don't. It doesn't mean that it has to be a first-person narrative. You can you can have a reader in a second-person narrative, which is actually most common in fan fiction. Second-person narrative is kind of distinct to fan fiction. It it that that doesn't really appear in any other genres. The you are doing this, you are doing that. Um, whereas first person and third person are used in all kind of different uh, fictions, works of fiction. Um, so it, it, you, you can write whatever genre you want in whatever point of view you want. Uh, I, you just, instead of saying that I do this, you just say C do that or and he do that or if you use third person, it's easier to be in both of their heads at the same time. What? She and he don't do nothing. They did. Right. <laughs> and, and going, going back to... Well, they do each other, apparently. <laughs> I need new friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you walk into that one. <laughs> You're the one that said it first. Okay, this one, this next question is from Luna Plana Venandi. I don't know how to, I probably am butchering that. But anyway, so her question is, so I want to get into writing, and I've already had some ideas, but as soon as I go to work on them, poof, I go blank, and I don't know how to write what I want. Any tips? That's a hard one. I do that on occasion as well. Um, I think outlines would help you. I don't really care if it's a drabble or if it's a one shot or if it's a series. When if your mind does that, I think outlines will be a great help. Uh, and the way that you, I would go about outlining is the way. Um, that I talked about it before, uh, write one, write the major idea and then fan out um, from that. Yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, Rachel, what does, what does she do? You give advice as well. 
not my interview. I am just interviewing. <laughs> Maybe maybe talk to people is one of the things as well. I said the, the sharing of ideas is what, something that I use a lot. I use Rachel and Erin and Anna as soundboards a lot before I actually get down to writing things. There are not many of my one shots that I haven't talked over to it with at least one of those girls before I start writing. Sorry, I'm still making plans. <laughs> You're I'm popular, guys. I'm popular. I'm not popular at all. I have four friends, and that's about it. I'm mean, here in college. I got four friends, and that's it. But they want to. Long story. I'm not going to go into you it. You got a fifth who needs you right now, so it knows out of your phone and into your laptop. <laughs> I can text on my laptop. Thank you very much. You're not allowed. I, you can't stop me because you're across the ocean. <laughs> and again, this is how we sound all the time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you have to witness this. Okay, this is from Anonymous. It says, do you have any plans for future fix that you want to share with us? Also, are there anything, are there things that you can't or won't write? Where are your limits? So you can start with the first one. Any? Can you give us anything about future fix? I'm no, I know a lot of them. So, well, I got. What, what can you share? I got two of my angst things that I'm going to turn into one shot. I have the, um, I have a Jensen ex-reader travel where his wife got shot by a crazy stalker. That was a short travel. And I'm going to turn that into a one shot. And I have a Misha ex-reader aesthetic where there was a shooting at one of his kids. I went um requested to me and i'm gonna turn that into a one shot and i am currently working on old flames new sparks and i'm currently working on kill zone which uh yeah um and two future series three actually uh that i know that i'm gonna do next I, i'm gonna do a series for ed sheeran's song perfect that's going to be Jensen next reader uh, around college age Jensen. And I also got a college age Nisha. That's going to be a shorter series. That's going to be called Bonfire Hearts. That will have five parts. I'm going to do that once I'm done with either of those two series. And I got a third series where I know that the first part is going to be out before October something something because it's for a challenge. And it's gonna be Dean X Reader, and it's gonna be very Indiana Jones inspired. And Rachel oh, wow. is gonna, and Rachel is gonna help me with that one. I'm so excited for that one, guys! I'm so yeah. excited. Okay, so how about the question about are those what are the things that you can or won't write? Where are your limits? Which I know this. The, my limits to what I don't write is pretty much the same thing as my limits to what I read, I guess. Um, I'm not kink shaming, but mommy and daddy kinks are really not my thing. HBO uh, is, uh, ABO <laughs> is, is really not my thing either. Um, <laughs> we should not be keeping you from writing. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Answer the question. Um, I I'm I'm not willing to write dubcon or noncon in a way that glorifies it. I have had a reader been raped in series or one shots before but it's never glorified and it's never the characters from the show or the actors that does it to her they are helping her move past um uh, <laughs> what is daddy kink daddy kink i is, don't know what you have that one i was just like um, um when she's the adult here daddy kink is is 
some, something when when you're in bed with your significant other you'd like to call him that or he likes having you called mommy or oh, it's it's like sir and mistress and whatnot it's um it's less bdsm related and if i get a what is bdsm question i'm gonna regret this <laughs> yeah. look it up darling <laughs> Google is your friend, hunt. Just if you're too young, stay away from sites that you're not allowed to be on. Yeah. If it, it, but you can also be young and say, you have also told me that stuff you don't know and use the explanation you're young, but you were still 19 at the time. So I, I don't necessarily take her saying that she's young as she's 15. True. It's, you can, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna do this as a uh, me talking about kick thing because I'm a social worker and people that I work for or with could find this video. So let's mm, okay. keep it. We, want, we can go into that later, hun. Um, yeah. If you want to talk more about this, feel free to message either of us on Tumblr um, privately. Yeah. I'll be happy to explain whatever you need to know. Kari's same. Yeah, same. Talk to us off of live stream. I feel free. We don't really, we don't bite much unless you're into that. Another kink. <laughs> I need to be safe. <laughs> Let's ho okay. Move it. Come talk to us offline. We'll handle it. Offline, you. off stream. Oh. You can't really talk to us offline, darling. <laughs> In private. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on. Ask, this one came to my inbox. I remember it's coming in. It's from Anonymous. It says, ask her if she's ever thought about writing for other fandoms. Sometimes she will reblogs Game of Thrones or Once Upon a Time, which I love. So, now you I have. I actually have an idea for uh, two series. Uh, one that is uh, Once Upon a Time, Supernatural crossover that I have had the idea for for ages and I don't know if I'm ever gonna do but I kind of hope that I will um and I have an idea for uh, a just honest to god Game of Thrones series that would be Jon Snow X reader um but I don't I I'm don't know yeah <laughs> oh, <for laughs> <her head. laughs> uh, yeah uh, and I also had I'm watching The Walking Dead with Rachel, and I kind of thought I had an idea for a crossover with. You it, it would be probably just be one shot or two. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you because you're going to force me to do it. Yes, I'm going to force. Now that I know that it exists, I'm going to force you to do it. You're already a force. Instead, you're so forced. Right? That's the pairing. <laughs> Wait, I bet I know. I bet I can figure it out. I know who your favorites are. Probably. So, if you, don't, if you guys don't know about this program, it's called Rabbit. You can stream. Um, Netflix in one kind of room so we can watch together and let's see we're on we're in the middle of season three I think yeah yeah so I we're think, in, like, I think we need to go an um, episode or something back because I fell asleep and woke up to a black screen <laughs> yeah I passed out I got I, I passed yeah. out one. and we were we were arguing in the last episode so I mean yeah we, we're gonna have to rewatch a little bit yeah, okay true. moving on so Game of Thrones, Once Upon a Time, and Walking Dead. Now I'm never gonna leave you alone about that. And Marvel, I guess, because but but I I have written from for actors that yeah. are not from Supernatural. I have written five or something Chris Evans one shots, uh, and I have written a Tom Hiddleston one shot, and I have written a Kit Harrington who is Jon Snow in Game of Thrones one shot. So I have written for real people that are not in the Supernatural fandom. Um, and I think that I'm gonna write one shots or something like that for other for for characters from other fandoms. Marvel could be one too. <clears throat> so this one is from Mom of Red. Red spelled with two D's. One, two, three. So it says, "Okay, question for your second blog anniversary." I love that word, blog anniversary. <laughs> a lot of us could use advice on how do you handle managing a blog like this one every day life or how do you manage a blog like this one with your everyday life work family personal time etc q <laughs> the q <laughs> that that's pretty much 
<clears throat> the best question that I can come up with, that it makes my blog seem alive at all times. Um, everything I read pretty much goes into my queue. I I put GIFs and stuff into my queue every now and then. My queue is um, like straight up. It's just just in space all the way down. <laughs> Right now, my queue is mostly fix, and there is 76 fix in my queue. I just checked, um, and they all are reblocked with a comment, and it, my queue mark is cast what to show the queue, so people can see that I'm not online when they fire, uh, and it reblocks about six times a day. Um, so that's. It, I, it was eight. I set it down to six because I felt like it was starting to drown out my original content. Um, but that's that's how I do it. Uh, I use the queue. When I post a fic, I schedule uh, three reblocks, and then I go to the fic, and I start uh, replying to different comments, and that also goes into my queue. Um, so. My blog runs pretty much on the queue, aside from the one, two hours a day that I spent sitting in front of the computer. <clears throat> All righty, so who is your friend? That's what we're basically getting. Q is yeah. your friend. Uh, Q, right. Q, is my, Q is a better friend than Rachel, and that says a lot. <laughs> That's all we got for today. I'm gonna leave your ass and go to my actual friend. <laughs> all right. Okay. Moving on. Somebody's a mean little bitch. All right. This is anonymous in my inbox right now for the live stream. Do you ever find yourself staring at words, thinking they're not real words anymore after writing for so long? Yeah. At uh, 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm pretty sure that the word, the, the word words is not a word anymore. <laughs> like when you say a word over and over and over again, it doesn't yeah. sound anymore. I mean, writing at 2 or 3 a.m. is never a good idea. I yes. proved to you that I could write a drabble after talking to you for eight hours, and it was 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning. So, suck it. And it was in English. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can send an ask and have it it not answered in public. Uh, you just you can't send it on a non. If you send it on a non, then people then then the person you send it to has no other option than answering it in public. Um, if you send it with your URL, uh, you can just. Yeah, I have a button. Uh, you, you can just ask the person not to answer in public, or you can send an IM. My IMs are open to everyone, um, so so that's an option. IMs are a lot better for conversations, mm -hmm. like you're going back and forth with them. It's a chat feature, so if you wanted to do that, that's cool. If you wanted to do answered privately, that's also great. Whatever makes you more comfortable, doll. Yeah. All righty. Let's see. Where am I? All right, so this is from Feel My Roar. What? <laughs> it's like, it's like four R's. I mean, you gotta do the. <laughs> Did you turn into pirate rage? <laughs> is that a new thing? I just have wine, guys. Is there a wheel in your pants? <laughs> you need to watch more puns online. Just saying. I will find you the video. I will not watch the video. <laughs> okay. Then you won't get the "that's a wheel in my pants" reference. Okay. Focus. Okay. It says congratulations, Kari. If you could write an episode of Supernatural, what would you have happen? I can answer that one. Dean, get the baby. Actually, no. Fine then. I would write an episode where. Oh, that's hard. I would still really love to see the body switch. I would still really love to see Jensen play Sam and Jared play Dean. Um, 
but I'm also partial to the human impala. I was on the same and, one. And I'm gonna cast Daniel Eccles as the human impala. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Yeah. All of this. One one of the two, I think. Okay, so if you had to pick if you had to completely have to, if you had to come up with an idea that hasn't been cycled around through the fandom. A non popular idea. Would you do would you want to do something more out of the box? Or would you want to do something like a just a case pick? I think I wanted to do something out of the box because that show really allows you to go nuts. And the actors are good enough that even though, even what the hell ever you're going to throw at them, they are going to make it work. <laughs> um, I might want to use the, they plug the alternate AUs thing uh, in in the last season that that the, that this is just one reality that they are in and they kind of did that too with the friends mistake i guess <clears throat> but i think i might that i would want to do something like that uh, and throw them into an another universe where um yeah, things might have turned out different. It could, it could be very well that Dean lived in, in a universe where he had a baby. Um, it could, it, it do so, show them something how their life could have been. All I want is to hold a baby. Yeah, it, it, it just show yeah. them how their life could have been different with the, with the different choices that they made. So not just one AU, but it. Every choice that we make makes for something different. What would have happened if Sam had looked for Dean? What would have happened if Dean had not chosen to save Sam and have an angel take over his body? Um, what would have happened if this and that? Um, I think I would do an episode along the lines of that. All right, so we're getting into a few questions that are just kind of they're getting a little. We're getting into a few repetitions here, but um, we already answered this one kind of. But and this is from Bring Me Some Pie Fifty Six. I'm just gonna respond to the Lizzie. I like the I like the Chuck's daughter thing as well, but I kind of think that's a very fandom esque thing. That's a that's 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 a little fan fiction. Like that's because we want to see ourselves in that role, I guess. Um, I that's why I didn't. I have seen that circle too, but that I don't necessarily think it will fit the show. Just like as much as I ship this deal in Fanon, I don't necessarily think that it should be canon. <laughs> and I'm gonna get killed by someone for saying that, but I don't care. That's how I see. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll get to that in a second because there's an ask in my inbox. All right, this one's from Bring Me Some Pie 56. It says, Congrats, my, congrats, my dude, D O O D. <laughs> that, that sounds very uh, finding Nemo. <laughs> you got it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's just also full house. Yeah, true. Michelle. Yeah, she's so cool. Okay, I'm getting off topic. So, for a question, what. <laughs> Start writing in the first place. Any particular inspiration? You, now you talked about writing as a kid. I'm gonna take it a little bit further. What started writing with fan fiction? I, the first fan fiction I wrote, I had no clue that it was fan fiction. I had a little notebook where, when I was around 10, 11 years old, where I wrote a case for X Files. Oh. And I wrote it in baby. And I wrote it in Danish, and I had no clue that I was actually writing fan fiction. And, and I had forgotten all about this until my mom reminded me a few weeks ago. <laughs> Wait, did you still have it? I think I still have it somewhere. You need to find I, it. Maybe. Yeah. I don't, I don't even I know where to find it. I just need to translate it into English because I wrote it in Danish. <laughs> You're 10. Yeah. Little, I was, little me, little me didn't English that well when I was ten. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was just being born at that point. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was little. Oh. I was a baby. Yeah, baby Rachel. Baby Rachel was cute. Uh, and then before two years ago, I started writing supernatural fan fiction. That's what I'm celebrating. That's why I'm sitting here talking to you. Um, but before that, I wrote a little bit of Marvel. I wrote a little bit of Thor, and I wrote a little bit of mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't and I, it took me a while to take the jump <clears throat> to write for Dean, because Dean is my absolutely favorite character and of any show of all time, and I did not want to screw him up. You don't screw him up. He's already screwed up. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Alrighty. This is another one from Anonymous. It says, can you ask Kari where she gets her ideas from? Her fix are never the same, and I'm struggling not to use the same trope over and over again. Uh, Kaden, that's fine. Rachel and I will answer it together at some point. Um, is it in mine? I don't think it's in mine. I don't have anything in my inbox, so she sent it to yours. It's not in mine either. Who did you send it to, darling? <laughs> It's not in mine, it's not in hers. Yeah. I am saying you do with that thing, and Rachel is my supernatural fix. All right. Okay, you said something about trope. I started answering a comment, and then I didn't hear what you were saying. All right. Can you ask Kari where she gets her ideas from? Her fix are never the same, and I'm struggling not to use the same trope over and over again. Um. But it kind of depends on the trope because there are tropes that you can use over and over again and not tell the same story. Uh, like I said, I, I think I'm partial to the friends to love us tropes and I'm sort of partial to enemies to love us. Um, so there, there are tropes that you can use over and over again without it being the same story. Um, Living with regrets is friends to love us, and growing love is friends to love us, and they are both the end of the next reader, but they are very different stories. Um, so I think it's more about getting an idea than thinking in the minds of tropes. Uh, of course, you can't write 10 coffee shops AUs and expect them to be all that different. Um, but I guess it's also also a way of thinking differently. Uh, I have uh, my Indiana Jones series that I uh, just plucked a little earlier. Um, is is I'm using the Professor AU as a prompt. So that's not the the standard Professor Winchester falling in love with his student. Um, that's not what this is going to be, but he's still going to be a professor, so that's still in that AU. Uh, and I'm also using Kitten of Humans and uh, Sexuality, I think. They are doing a history challenge, and it's going to be set in the 30s. <clears throat> so that's the two challenges that that series is going to be written for. It's just think out of the box. Try and think out of the, out of the box all the time. Sorry, I was answering. All right, so this one, let's see where we go. Where are we? I'm trying to jump back. And we had a Megan around at some point. Yeah. <laughs> she was around earlier, so I figured she might be still around, maybe just watching. Yeah. But I throw that in there. We are going to be talking. Um, I, I did know, I did see your ass. I'm definitely going to plug it in. I have it in my little document, so I know where it goes. Alrighty. So we're still going on about tropes. The next one's from Anonymous. It says your top three most hated and loved tropes. And just going to throw this in here. Torn and frayed. Steph, of course. She also asked, what's your favorite to write and your favorite to read? And she also asked, do you have a favorite genre? So I guess, Steph, we already got all of yours taken care of. <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> the end of the dock. I'm sorry, hon. I think I know what Steph's most hated is, and that's the uh, medieval prince princesses. I didn't know that. <laughs> and I think she's a trope is um, it can be a universe or it can. How how do we explain that? It's an AU. Of yeah, a situation. It 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 doesn't have to be a a you because friends to lovers can also be used in. Like it's a in, common situation. It's like it's a it's a commonly set kind of a common plot point that can be twisted and turned and used to however you want to use it. So she's yeah. got a professor AU. There's a thousand professor AUs on Tumblr, but she's twisted. A very common a very common trope in supernatural. Uh, that's in a SPN versus is bed sharing. How how you fall in love with someone when you are forced to share a bed in a motel. That's a that's common at you. Oh group, sorry. Um Okay, my most I don't know if I hate them, but ABO is really not my thing. I can't wrap my head around that. It's it's too animalistic and it's too Things that has to do with furries, I'm not. I don't do well with. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. My friends and I are being jackasses to each other in our group chat. Um, we're trying to figure out what to do for dinner, and she, one of us, says, "Go, just say something." And at the exact same time, both of us, me and another person, said, "Just something." And. <laughs> So I'm, not, I'm not an asshole just to Kari, it's to everybody. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> okay, so um, I lost track so of how So AB, uh, I was listing uh, tropes that I don't like, and I said ABO, but I guess that's not just a trope, that's also an AU. Maybe not necessarily an AU. Um, soulmates, I'm not too fond of soulmates. Oh shoot! Because I was gonna ask you for some advice on one. Oops. I can. St I I still have a few that I have read and I have enjoyed, but it's not. And I also think that the. I'm not. I, I I'm I'm taking step sides a little bit with the prince and princesses thing, but it's more to how it's done than it is the actual trope. I think. <clears throat> I have read a few that I like. I, the Falcon and the Hawk is, is a medieval thing, and it's done for one of my favorite mu movies. Emily writes about Dean. That's a great series. Um, or this, the, Sorry, my, yeah. Oh, my my favorite ones to both read and write. Uh, I think Friends to Lovers. Or. Um, I like rock stars. I have a thing for Dean and Jensen as rock stars. Um, and by that, she's a friend. Oh, and babies. You, you have to have the babies. The Daddy Dean. <laughs> I'm just going to point out, I read for the first time today um, the one where, or it was Anna's, it was Anna's, where Sam was de-aged by the witch. The, I think she called it D or something like that. I read that today. Anything where Dean has to be protective older brother of little Sam. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that breaks my heart. I love it. I nearly started. But then, so, so Anna is freaking amazing at writing the general fix, the, the brother general fix. She has an older one too, uh, where, where they are six and ten or something like that, and Dean is hit by a car. Um, I don't know, but go in Percy Winchester 27 and look at her general fix. She calls them Winchesters, and there's no readers. Usually, in D, there is. There is a reader in that one, uh, Ray should talk about. But so usually, bad. there is no readers, and it's just her telling stories that happened previous to what we see on the show, uh, her take on that. And she's really awesome at it. Look her up. All right, so next is from Tea Party with 
double Y, which is kind of cute. It's T E E P A R T Y. Oh. It's kind of cute. I, I have seen her around. Yeah, that's cute. <clears throat> All right. Congrats, Kari. If you are only a real out. If you're only allowed to write one of the following, smut, fluff, or angst for the rest of your life, what would it be? Flangst does not count. Why did you take my answer away from me? Because I know you. <laughs> um, only one it has to be straight fluff or straight angst. But you can't write straight angst without fluff. Yes, you can. How? Enough. I'm gonna kill everybody and you're not gonna care about them because there's no previous relationships. Just answer the question. <laughs> well, if I can't put stuff in my angst, then the angst is gonna suck, so I can't write angst. So it has to be fluff. And smut, I just really don't care about. My I can give and take. Give and take. My fluff is the greatest. Yeah, but it's only because you said that I'm not allowed to put fluff into my angst. If I can still put fluff into my angst, then my answer is going to be angst. All right, moving on. This is from Anonymous. Which blogs are your favorite writing blogs? And I'm going to write these down, and I'll link them in the description later. <laughs> Everyone dying, it would be Game of Thrones. I'm sorry, did we see the last episode of Supernatural? <laughs> that was like the Red Wedding. Death, 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 death. <laughs> Everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone dies. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I fully comprehended how much of a bloodbath it really was. No, but it was. It, it was. Really was. Everyone died. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's, it, was, it, it was less graphic than an episode of Game of Thrones, but everyone still died. And yeah, I see your little I'm sulking face, and you can go on. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to sulk. <laughs> Okay, favorite writing books. My favorite writing books. Yes. Um excluding present company. Uh, fine. <laughs> okay. My Supernatural Fix and Black Tie 7 and Percy Winchester 27. They are my betas, and I wouldn't use them as betas if I didn't think that they were awesome writers as well. Um, and aside from those, Dean's Dirty Little Secret Blog and I Lost My Shoe 79. Angel Kune, Kune, I can't pronounce her URL. Angel K U N E N A I. Uh, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> um, uh, there's a few newer writers that I'm really, really loving. Raven Girl 94, I think. Um, where's the Kill Switch? And Emily writes about Dean. Um, I'm writing. I'm writing all of these down so I can post or post or anything. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that I'm forgetting a bunch of people. Uh, Winchester writes. Winchester Swanathan. She writes a lot of John and Dean. Uh, Adriel Dia. Adriel Dia. Um. Adrian. Sorry, these are my girls. Yeah. Um, book, bookworm, there. five, twenty-three. Is that right? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I never remember her numbers. Uh, I think it's five twenty-three. But bookworm without the the vowels. Um, I'll post them. I'm keeping a list. And I. And. Have I'm just, I just wrote Sarah because it's Sarah. Turn and fried. Don't forget <laughs> Steph. Don't forget Steph. Don't forget Steph. She has some of the most. She is one of my favorite writers. You know, I think it's funny because I have, I have. Sarah gave me this stuffed turtle. 
and it's like it's a ninja turtle it's good but i had to put it away for reasons on by which car he knows but i'm not ready to announce yet so i had to stuff it in a um i stuffed it in a closet somewhere sorry sarah why i'm, I'm pretty sure that will be a good what i think i think I can't. I can't say this when you can't announce it. <laughs> I can't, I'm not announcing it yet. But I mean, it was it was sitting close to the ground, and I put it up higher, and it just didn't look right. So I just put it away. You realize how you're talking right now? People are gonna assume that you're nine months pregnant, and we can't see it. I'm not pregnant, guys. <laughs> I'm my birth control, if you want. I just got a new pack. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that blue dick works amazingly. <laughs> um, I can I I I make an announcement really soon, guys. Hopefully not this next week, but maybe the next one. Anyway, um, anyway any more? Okay, we have Steph. Any more writers that you want to give a shout out to? Uh, Nishan, Nishan, my bell. Um, Chaos in the calm, sixty-seven. Bring me some pie. 56. What's with all the numbers, guys? I can't remember half of them. <laughs> um, uh, Supernatural Diacles. You should go read her, My Summer Fling. That's probably my favorite series at the moment. Um, Maddie, Dean's Letter. Uh, Play a game. Is it my stomach or is it thundering? <laughs> oh my god, that was so loud. I'm so sorry it's for other people that I just forgot. My brain doesn't work that well. I read a lot of stuff. Uh, and I got a lot of writers that I really enjoy reading. Uh, Dark Harley Geek Queen is also a really great writer. What was that one? Dark Harley Geek Queen. Okay, I love this lady over here, but sometimes I cannot understand what she's saying. Dark Harley Geek Queen. <laughs> I put it in the chat box. Um, we gotta move on here pretty soon. Yeah, move on. I, I, I forgot a bunch of blocks, and I'm so, so sorry. All right, so the next one is from Anonymous. It is Fanfic Pet Peeve. Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I told this Anon when she asked me this. She sent it to my blog that she's trying to get me in trouble. But um, glorification is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. The saying that jealousy it's okay that it's jealousy can be cute and and everything but there's just a difference between jealous being jealous for a moment and realizing that you're an idiot and being jealous and controlling and it being okay and p dean is often being written as a controlling jerk which i don't really care for much um uh Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, um, I can't help yeah. I uh, no, it, this is the this is the danger of doing a live stream with Rachel. I forget that I'm on a live stream and I just talk like I do when I'm around her. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind that I am not a child. I can understand. I she is much more open with me than she should be. <laughs> it goes both ways because she knows <laughs> that she doesn't need to know. Um, I had a list once of fanfics and pet peeves, and now I don't remember the pet peeves. Uh, we have been talking for too long, but glorification is definitely one. Um, I also think that the way that people talk to writers is a pet peeve. The, you should write this, you should write more of this, you have to do this at my speed, and it, I'm going to scream at you if I don't get chapters 
fast enough. Um, if you don't write things the way that I would have written them, I am sure as hell gonna tell you. Um, it's like, bitch, please, just write your own yeah. if you want it. Yeah, <clears throat> the way Anons talk to it, I'm, I have nothing against Anons. I have my Anon on for a reason. I get a really, a lot of really, really sweet people approach me on Anon. Um, but I also have a pet peeve of which of, is a perfect segue into our question from Megan's Escape. It says, "Congratulations!" First off, it says, "Hello again. Sorry to be a bother again. You're not a bother, honey. I promise you're not bothering at all." <laughs> Great. All right, it says, congratulations on two years. Can I ask what your advice would be for people who receive hate? <sighs> That's sad, I know. It's a hard question, it's, it really is. I, I would say to hell with them, don't bother with it, but I know that it's not possible because it gets to me sometimes too, and I have been around for a while and I have gotten a shitload of hate. Um, but, but try, I'm so sorry, sweetie, um, yeah, I know that, that, that I have been told by people not to answer them, but that's also letting them win in a way, in my mind. Because they still get to me. <clears throat> they, they, they still got their words through. They still get to me. And if I just delete them, I don't get an outlet. I don't get to tell them what I think. I don't get to answer. So I, I yeah, answer a lot of them. I delete some of them. It kind of depends what they write. Um, people have a, a, a way of writing hateful stuff about other blogs and sending it to my inbox. And I never, ever answer those. I don't, I, I'm not going to be a platform for anons to put other people down. Um, yeah, I'm, I answer them back and try to not be faced with it. Listen to what your friends say. Uh, understand that when Rachel says the opposite of what an anon says for my, your Rachel, I'm sure you have one just like I have one, not by the same name, but someone you are as close to as I am to her. Uh, know that what she says is the truth and not what some random stranger who is too afraid to even show their own face says. It, it's, it, there is no competition. See, I know Rachel well enough to know that she would tell me the truth. If I'm being a bitch and if I'm annoying her, she lets me know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> why do you think yeah. we have to rewatch Game or not Game of Thrones? Why we have to rewatch Walking Dead? <laughs> Yeah, I also see, I don't know, I usually says them. I don't swear at them, I don't call them names, I refuse to stoop to their level. Um, I think I have once in a while because I have just been so frustrated and so angry and I have been struggling with some depression at the time. But, but nine out of ten times or more, did you just almost fall off your chair? <laughs> well done. Just have it, just, just have it, just get a Rachel and laugh at her. That's that's actually the best. <laughs> that's the best solution. Have a have a Rachel. Whenever whenever an anon, if someone sends you an anon, just call Rachel and have her do something stupid, and then you will laugh instead. <laughs> I was trying to scoot up and it, it didn't work. Yeah, but that's also how amazing a friend that she is. I was. Last summer, I was having a really tough time, and Anons didn't help. And Rachel annoyed me until that she called me, and she spent an hour serenading me and just singing. That was around the time that I was riding strawberry wine, and she was singing songs that she thought she would fit, that would fit into the story. And that's just how amazing she is. You made me cry. Oh, but it's the truth. Um, you're welcome, Megan. 
Should I say something? Says, yeah, you should say something sassy to the announce. Just answer them back. Let them know that. I mean, you have such the. They, they think you are the. They are the idiots. No matter what you are gonna answer them, they are always the losers. They are the ones that showed up on your blog using a gray face, that was afraid to put their URL behind whatever horrible stuff that they had to say. The very if you want to insult someone, the very least you can do is use your own URL or use your own face. If you can't even do that, then you're not worth the while. The while. All right, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. We're going back to some writing advice. This one's from in my inbox from Hillywood Destiel. That's cute. All right, says congrats, Kari. My question is, do you ever feel like you just have no inspiration and don't want to write? I know I sometimes do, and also, how do you deal with it? I'm feeling I just end up feeling awful for disappointing my readers and myself with heart emojis at the end. Um, you have no inspiration. My inspiration is not my problem. I literally come up with two stories a day or something like that, and it's annoying. I can, I, I can scream at Rachel three times during a day because a song came on the radio and I got a big idea. True story. Um, so it's not, the, it's not the inspiration that has ever been my problem. It, the motivation is another thing. And I guess if it goes for too long, then I kind of just have to sit down and force myself to write. And it's going to be crap to begin with. But eventually I will get to a point in a story that just grabs a hold of me and I can and I get my motivation back. And I just have to go and back and fix the crap later on. <laughs> and there's no way around it. And it sucks. But if you, if you want to keep writing, you have to keep writing. That's why you have betas. You, you give your beta. It's okay if you give your betas crap. Yeah. You work together and you fix it. Like just getting something on the page. And it's okay not wanting to disappoint your readers. Just don't write for them. Write for you. Uh, if you start to write for other people, then it would, will show in your writing. True story. Especially trying to, like, I'm trying to, I'm current right now, I'm thinking about um, the crap show that I gave you in um, this, I, um, a while back I did um, a football gents in AU and I'm working on the sequel now. Just get it, get, Kari is needing to um, read it a second time because I'm currently waiting on her. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'll get to it. <laughs> I need to get to forward I'm too. Her. I'm teasing her. She know you better know that I'm not actually rushing you. But, um. I, when I when I was writing it, I wasn't writing it the way I should have. Like I I just I went about it the entire wrong way, and it showed in the writing. So it's like yeah, like write how you how, write for you and how you want to write. Don't try to go out of your way and to try stay, to and stay true to yourself. I, my way of writing is not, I have given a lot of advice on how to write just because that's how I do it. You can try it that way, but that's not necessarily going to be the right way for you. <clears throat> it's, the way of writing is not the right way for me to write, that's for sure. Yeah. Rachel is not a very planned out writer. She is very intuitive and spontaneous when she writes. Um, and Erin? who we did the Body Riders group with way back, uh, is a very, very planned out writer. And she plans out everything, uh, every little plot point and everything. And that works for her. And they are great writers in their different ways. And I am somewhere in between. Um, I don't do well with not having any pointers at all. But I also mm -hmm. feel boxed in if I have to plan out as much as Erin does. And I think we have just come to term with that's how we write. And it's it there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just right for us. I'm working on it. I'm not texting, I'm actually answering the ask with your advice. <laughs> All righty, so we're finishing up here. We only got a few questions left. And it says, this is from Anonymous. It says, two years worth of writing is a huge milestone to celebrate. Congrats, my dear. What do you think is the fic you're most proud of? 
I just have a sorry. I had an ask in my inbox saying from from someone who said I sent an ask earlier and I would like it answered privately. <laughs> yeah, I don't have. I don't. I don't have that ask, dear. <laughs> that, that's the only ask in my inbox. So if you are listening, if you are here, I don't have it. It that's that's uh, Kylan, right? Is that, am I saying that right? Yeah. I think no, maybe it. She has this Yuki in her name at least. Yeah, I'll say Kylan looks right. Kylan's actually my little cousin's name, so that, that's just how I automatically pronounce that. I haven't seen her since she was born, cause reasons. I need to get off Facebook because every time no on uh, off Tumblr because every time I go on Tumblr, like, there is the damn pictures at the end of Twitter. Why are you on Facebook right now? I'm not on Facebook. I was on Tumblr because it popped up that I had a new ask. And ask me the next question. What is the fic you're most proud of? Living with uh, the series I'm the most proud of. Living with regrets. The ones that I'm the most proud of, the best you can. All right. So this is kind of tied into that. So anonymous asks, what are your own favorite fix and why? So why are they your favorite fix? Why are they your the ones you're most proud of? Living with regrets is, and she just walks away. That's a very nice football you have there, Rachel. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to the wall then. Um, I'm not sure why living with regrets is my favorite fic. I think it's my favorite fic because, I don't know. Rachel, why is living with my grads the thing that I'm the most proud of? Because it's so fucking good. <laughs> the best you can, the one said, is because I basically to retold the story in 6,000 words. I, I retold the series in 6,000 words and gave Dean a couple of kits. And I hinted something at the end. And I'm I'm just proud of the way it turned out. And I and and all the story is told through babies, not eyes, but headlights maybe. <laughs> but it's told from the car's point of view. Uh, living with regrets. I don't know. I don't know why it's my the one thing that I'm most proud of. You worked really hard on it. It's a really solid series. It's well. Okay. It's just a, it's just good. Yeah, if I, I, if if I die tomorrow and I can only re be remembered by one fig, I have no problem that that's the one. All righty. So we have our last ask. This is the one that Kari does not know. She ha did not have access to this one at all. She has no idea what this one is. I kept this one hidden in my inbox because I want mainly because I want to see her face when it's I'm worried. Okay, the first question, it's got three questions in it. This is from Anonymous, live stream. How did you and Kari become friends? You and me? Yeah. Um, we are both members of the SPN Fanfic Pond, and that place has a chat room. And that's where I met Rachel the first time. And Rachel and Sarah, the bookworm 523, were really good friends back then, uh, still are, um, <clears throat> but but I couldn't for the life of me tell one from the other <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> I was just like, that, that, that's the two of them, they're always there together, but I'm not really sure which one is Sarah and which one is Rachel. Um, and I don't really know, Rachel just kept, she started talking to me in private on Skype, I think, and she kind of annoyed me into friendship. That's my favorite. <laughs> some, somewhere yeah. along the way, she adopted me and decided that I was a big sister. And exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I don't want to spend a. I, I can't have a day where I don't talk to Rachel. It feels weird. I can't. It, it, even if it's just a few lines we send to each other, it's just weird if there goes a day and I haven't talked to her. It, I felt I felt so well because her computer got here. and then before her computer died, her camera went out. So I haven't seen her face. Yeah. 
so long. And I'm just like, oh, I'm <laughs> don't do hot eyes at me. <laughs> okay, so the other half of this, this is the one where you're going to die. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm sorry for I'm I'm almost sorry for making you want to cry. They ask, "Have you ever done a collab?" <laughs> <laughs> um, attempted to. <laughs> we have we have an aesthetic that's the cover, and we have an outline, and we have had both by a year, and we have the first chapter for that series written. Not beta, but there's a draft of it. Um, and it, I, I'm not gonna tell you how or what's happening uh, because I still want us to do it at some point. Oh, but it ends with Dean being stuck on a camel, like passed out, out. Just, hang, uh, just passed out and hanging over a camel. And my mom knows this, and that's literally every time that I mention Rachel's name, this is Dean still on the camel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Still stuck on the camera. I love her mom, by the way, guys. Yeah, I got my mom is an older version of me, and she's awesome, and she's yeah. Pretty much adopted me as well. Yeah, she she has. If you come to Denmark, she's gonna she's gonna kidnap you. I think I don't get to see you. My mom is just gonna kidnap you. <laughs> and, you know, my mom has actually looked into coming, so. Yeah, I actually think my our moms would get along well, so we can just stick them in a room together and run off. <laughs> Funny. All right, and then the, the rest of it was like, if not, would you? Obviously, we have, we have, we've thought about it, we've put in the effort, we're working on it. <laughs> not random in context of the actual thing. I'm just not willing to tell what the actual story is because I still think it's an awesome, unique idea and I haven't seen it before and I still really want to do it. We just need to get our asses in gear. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Being stuck on a camel. Okay, so this one's going to be fun. This is, this, okay. We're done with all the asks that came through. So now we're doing... Um, it's kind of like a rapid fire. You have this or that. You have to pick this or that really, really fast. Okay. And I've already written down what I think your answers are going to be. So I've already picked which one I think Kari's going to choose. So we're going to see how well I know her. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. You have to answer fast. You can't think about it. I'm going to try. Okay. Beach or mountains? Beach. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Cat or dog? Dog. Morning or evening? Evening. Text or call? Uh, depends. Text or call? <laughs> call. Summer or winter? Summer. Book or movie? Book. Coke or Pepsi? Huh? Coke or Pepsi? Do you have the two? Coke. Yeah, but you were mumbling. Coke. <laughs> Rain or snow? Uh, snow. Boat or plane? Boat. Reading or writing? Writing. Phone or computer? Computer. Piercing or tattoos? That I have or that... Uh... Which do you prefer? Um, piercing if it's only in the ears, otherwise tattoo. Leather or lace? Lace. Pasta or pizza? Pizza. Writing poetry or reading poetry? Reading poetry. Family or friends? Friends. All right. No, I don't know. Friends that are family, but both. Okay, I want to do my... <laughs> I, the only ones that I got wrong, I put tea instead of coffee. But that's not, that's not uh, uh, if it's a chai, a chai latte, then it's tea. But tea in general, I'll rather have coffee. <clears throat> and I put, I did reading and writing, I just put both. 
Um, I put leather instead of lace because you have your leather jacket. Yeah, that 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 was kind of toast. I put writing poetry instead of reading poetry. Yeah, I don't I don't re write much poetry anymore. And then I put family or friends. I put the same difference. Yeah, it is. It was just like it's to me. My closest friends are family. So, and and that's nothing that I put above my mom. So it's kind of kind of the same thing. <clears throat> Kari's hierarchy: her mom, her dad, her dog, and then everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Dog is one up. <laughs> Santa's on par with your parents. Yeah. Yeah, and you. You are above my dad for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mom, Santa, like right, right, like right there. <laughs> Santa, and then Rachel, and then dad. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's all. That's all I got. I, I'm dying of heat stroke. But I don't know why it's still so hot. It's Denmark and it's midnight. I have my air on. I got my fan, my air conditioning, and it's not actually. What's the? I didn't even. I haven't even looked at the weather today. It's only. Like, it's. It's only in the low 80s here, so I mean, it's not even that hot today. All right, I got nothing else. So if we do anything, if we do anything else, I'm just gonna be like, mm. uh, does anyone have any questions for me or for Rachel? You can now is your chance to ask her something because I, I if you ask her, then I can't really lie. <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, lied. Ask, me, ask me something about Kari. Yeah. <laughs> Because if I don't know it, I can just make it up. Yeah, I'm gonna yell at you. <laughs> I don't really care. You yell at me anyway. Oh, I do want to point out. I went on a, my friend um, that I'm actually going to dinner with. She gave me these. They're the ugliest little Sam and Dean dolls I've ever seen in my life, but they're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's hair. Why is that? She should sell those. <laughs> Look, at, I mean, they're they're from Hot Topic. Oh. I mean, they're they're from Hot Topic. They're just these little. No. They were in this like Dean. Look homemade. Dean has a tie on. I don't understand at all. Why? He's got the anti-possession thing on the back, which you can't really. Why? Do. And that's also not an anti-possession thing. That's just a. It's just a story. Thing. Thing. Yeah. It's tiny. And it's like they're little voodoo dolls. I don't know, Megan. It's just a curse. He's got He's got this. I think it's hilarious. Megan, I can't answer that. It's confidential. <laughs> it's a curse. If we answer that, then one of us will die. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> With death on the line. I love watching Jared. Not Jared. This is Dean. Dean's kind of like doing a little dance move. Yeah, but that that kind of fits him. So, <laughs> what food are you craving at this very second? I am craving anything. All I've had today is like half a peanut butter sandwich, and I'm about to go to dinner with some of my friends, and we're going to a dining hall, so nobody has to actually pay for it. I'm craving chocolate. I haven't had chocolate in a really long time. Craving what? Chocolate. I don't know what that is. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Idiot! Danish. <laughs> you have an accent. <laughs> so do you. I don't complain when you speak. <laughs> and when you get tired, it's you know. Now you're just gonna go. She's not that bad. No, but I also talk to Rachel when it's four a.m. in her morning, and then she speaks hick, and I'm tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, not sure if anybody who's watching knows I'm from Georgia. Southern accent here. It's not. It, it varies in heaviness. Like right now, it feels pretty light. Mm. That changes day to day. It is. It is. 
Yep, the more tired she is or the more annoyed she is, the more... When I get mad, it comes out so heavy. Yeah. Can I, like, give Sam a mohawk? Are you giving Sam a mohawk? Why are you giving Sam a mohawk? Would we consider doing this on a regular basis? Um, I'd consider it. It's going to be, it's with both of our work schedules, it's pretty hard to get us together. Um, I'm also, if I work part time, I am a full time student. Kari works full time, like full time and a half, really. She works. Yeah. Half. So it's really, maybe, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cross it out. Yeah. I'm not against it either. It's, it's, it actually, it's just more of the two of us just chatting. It's I don't care if you listen in or not talking. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know what we would talk about. I don't know what you guys want to hear us talk about. But you know, we can we can stream it if you'd like. Sam's got pictures. Yeah, you know, I can I can put up a post. I got a in a few hundred followers. I got an eight K celebration coming on, and I can put up a stream and. I can hijack Rachel and we can do it again, but I don't want it to be just about me. It has to be about her too. And poor Sammy. I can't, gonna do, break his hair next? I can't do anything with Dean's because it's just a piece of felt glued to his head sideways. Yeah, and apparently he's bald in the neck. <laughs> he's bald in the back. I can't do anything with that. You should like take a picture of that and send to Jensen and ask when he get, went half bald. He's not going to like that. <laughs> I'll tweet it to him. <laughs> well, this is happening live, guys. We're gonna tweet Jensen. Do I have Do I even download Twitter? I don't even have Twitter on my phone, guys. Why don't you have Twitter on your phone? I get that tweet sent to my phone. I don't like Twitter. I don't use it. I just get that tweet sent to my phone, and. And then more most of the time it's fine, right? Up until I want to strangle Misia because he tweets ten tweets in ten minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, more, I'm more Instagram. I'm much more. Like I was on Instagram earlier. Where to go? I was looking oh. at puppies on Instagram. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the uh, I I have. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's Bears so cute. cute. I gotta like that. It's a oh, they're so cute. Like, where did the puppy? Oh, we were talking about tattoos. I actually I want to get, I want to get the um, the protection tattoo on my wrist, and I want text going around it saying "Family doesn't end with blood." Um, because that's 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 that's, 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 that's look at it. Look at it. Look at it. His name is Harper. But that's because that's the thing that this fandom has given me is no, no matter when the show ends and no matter if I keep writing for it or not, I know that Rachel is going to be forever. It's that, that's just, that it's just not an option to stop talking to her ever. So. That's me. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I, I, you stuck, and now I can't get rid of you. It's like the, the stalker that won't get away, and I can't get a restraining order on because we don't live in the same country. I don't really know what to do with you. <laughs> hey, Amber. I just see that's that's the blog that I oh, tried to God. recommend. She's right there. I can't pronounce that. Angel, what? <laughs> Tori and I. Tori and I. I can't yeah, maybe. But that's anyway. That's that's the blog you want to check out, guys. That I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> that that was one of the writing books. <laughs> right, I'm about to compose. I'm about to write. I'm about to tweet to Jensen. I did, I gotta take. Oh, I don't want to take a video. I don't want to go live. Okay. I'm already live. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh. Yeah. At least Rachel is is pissed about all the dashes in my URL, but at least I can pronounce it. <laughs> what are you writing? I'm texting Jackie because they're on their way. I thought you were texting Denson. Oh, I'm working on texting, tweeting. 
if you got his phone number, then you better hand it over. <laughs> How do I allow Twitter to, my access to my camera? Guys, I'm technologically inept. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And and it, I would <laughs> like to say I would like to say that Rachel is the tech savvy one of the two of us. So try and watch me struggle with something. <laughs> I'm catching up on the chat. Puppies are cute. I am a cat person. Are you a guys cat or dog person? I will. Dog. Say, I'll I'll say dog. dog. Yeah. I'm. I'll yeah. I'll stick with dog. I love cats. I I love cats. But yeah, I, I, in my heart recently. Yeah, cats are cute, and I, Erin, the the girl that I talked to talked about a lot too. Black side seven, she has two kitties, and they I, are so cute. Hakuna, your dog, that's cute. That's hilarious. Okay, let's taking a picture. I love your focused face. You know, you know, Dean make a rage pout, a, a rage pout. You just make a very focused pout. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, those words are very hard to distinguish when you're Danish. Okay, so I, rage, rage, blah, blah, blah. I can't say them next to each other. I said, yo, at Jensen Ackles, when did you get such a dramatic haircut? And then <laughs> it looks like Dean lost the fight with the lawnmower. Top of that, did Dean lose a fight with a lawnmower? Rachel, you're not allowed to go to dinner. I'm starving. Yeah, but then you're going to leave me alone. And now we are back to what we usually bigger about. The other one not being allowed to go out the door. <laughs> and I'm tagging Hot Topic because they're the ones that put it out. I said, yo, at Jensen Ackles, when did you get such a dramatic haircut? Did Dean lose a fight with a lawnmower? <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And tweet. <laughs> <laughs> that lizzie write that please tag me yeah. tag me <laughs> tag uh, and dean is gonna be so pissed because it, he would rather it was sam <laughs> sam is gonna if sam left sam is gonna wake up with a mocha Sam's hair up so and then tweet that to jared Yeah. Also, the if Dean loves the fight with a lawnmower and and Sam left, then Sam is gonna wake up in the middle of the night with an actual mohawk. <laughs> He's not gonna respond. He never responds, but that's okay. It's, it's just as long as it could be fun if you saw it at least. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna send that one. I'm gonna do the mohawk to Jared. Why not? We're doing. I send them both to Misha because if both if Misha sees both of them, he's gonna respond. Can I go back and can I, can I edit tweets, guys? Does anybody know if I can do that? I don't think you can because people you celebs usually delete and then make a new one. Okay, I'm just gonna quote tweet and then add Misha.
All right, we're going to do the Jared one now. I'm going to move the string out of his face because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay, that didn't work very well. Uh, Kaden, Kaden, who did you send it to? Okay, my friends are going to be here in 10 minutes. <laughs> yes, it does look that. It looks exactly like wall, st wall socket. What's a wall socket? Where you plug things in. You plug something into the ah, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know. What do you call them? <laughs> What? <laughs> you asked me what we call them. I gave it you the Danish word. Stick contact. Out. Dude, it glitched out. I couldn't hear. <clears throat> Stick contact. Gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm going to post it on Tumblr one of these days. I got a video of Rachel lying in bed saying potato over and over again because yeah. he tried to learn Danish. <laughs> It's not Dutch. It's Danish. Dutch is Netherlands. <laughs> Danish. Yes. I'm confused what we're talking about with the people. Dutch is an entirely different language, darling. And Dutch really is gibberish. Dutch is a mix between Danish, German, and French. Okay, I where where are you? I got your ass, Kylan. I got gotcha. you. And that I was the you. one we weren't supposed to answer, right? Right. Well, you see it on and on, but I'm assuming it's. Do you want us to answer it here, or do you want us to answer it? It's not a question, Kari. I will talk to you about it later. Okay. Sorry. I posted for this one's for this one's the one for Jared. Jared <laughs> pad. Sam should try the mohawk or stay away from electric sockets. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there's there's it popping up. Pup to pink. Really? What? In Will's microwave is pup tipping. I love it. Yeah, Dutch is a Dutch is a weird language. Danish is just gibberish. <clears throat> it's gibberish. No, Danish is Danish is an older language than English. We were around first. You can't argue. I don't care. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Quick tweet. But Greek is a beautiful language. You're fine with the ass, sweetie. She, Kari's just being a dumbass. Yeah, that's how I use the M. That's perfectly fine. I get confused easily. So it's the, I, I'm not annoyed. I'm just confused. It's a it's a natural state. Don't pay attention <laughs> to this. <laughs> Wills is just dumb. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my bag so I can get my ID out. Ah, oh, my shoes on tight. Rachel.
I don't know how I feel about you going to sit in a car if you can't even sit in your foot in your I just <laughs> in your chair without falling out. What? I don't know how I feel about you driving anywhere if you can't even sit in a chair without falling off it. I'm not driving. My friends are picking me up. You'll just fall out of the car anyway. Okay. But I'm going to see if I can stick my ID. In. You know, the most worried I have ever been was Rachel telling me that she had to jump onto a plane. And Rachel has the, the, co the coordination of a, I don't even know what, jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> a jellyfish. There we go. Now I can carry, let me cover up my name. I can carry my ID with me. Yeah. Luckily, the plane landed, and I have never been more relieved in my life. But her telling her me that she had to jump on a plane, I literally talked to you for an hour, and I was trying to talk you out of going. <laughs> okay, so backstory: my cousin is actually a pilot. He's got a small plane, so it's really hard to turn the engines on and off. Apparently, so they were just gonna land, leave the engines running. My uncle was gonna jump out, help me get in, and then we were gonna go on our merry way. Kari's having a freak out cause... <laughs> because well, it's Rachel. It's not the fact that I have no problem with people in general jumping onto a plane like that. It doesn't sound that dangerous, but it's Rachel. She was going to end up hanging by the side of the plane while it took off or going under the wheels and being run over. <laughs> by then. <laughs> 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 oh, there's a Hamilton app. Like I'm kind of stoked for this. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Stickers. There's stickers. What's with you and Hamilton? It's a. I'm a history major. I've always. I'm a. Was almost a music major. I mean. <laughs> it's pretty. Can you hear it? The eye roll? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. And I mean, he's kind of adorable. How many people are watching this shit show right now? Like, <laughs> is it raining? Please don't be raining. OK, for everyone that's still here and have suffered through this, I am going to try and attempt to write a few drabbles for the Real People Fig Appreciation Day tomorrow because I haven't done anything yet. But to anyone and all who are still here, you are free to go into my inbox and send a request for a drabble. Uh, and I'm only going to say this here. So it's a, it's a one-time offer. <laughs> That's going to expire in an hour or something like that because I need to get riding. Kari's on a $10 bill. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like being on a phone call with a five-year-old. Say whatever you want, princess. <sighs> Does anyone want her? <laughs> I got a Rachel for sale. Move your hands. No. You're not making this easy. Oh, I can do it to me. See? You're an idiot. <laughs> Go back. I don't does anyone want her. Going once, going twice. <sighs> Yeah, I had one shot planned for tomorrow, but dumbass. Okay, <laughs> 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 so look at her. That's also not a terrible picture of her. She is for sale. Uh, you're not. What is a strong her. word? Dumbass. It's, it's it's less. It's less for sale. It's more free to a good home. 
I I I barely care if it's a good home. Just somebody take it. <laughs> no, I had I was trying to say I had two one shots planned for real people fix appreciation day or whatever it's called. But then my computer died. See, we have a dog. No, I, 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 I think it's a better idea to foster her because I'm probably gonna regret and want her back. So <laughs> if anyone wants to borrow her for a few days so I could get a break, then that's fine. <laughs> okay, fine. I have to leave any minute now anyway, so <laughs> I can leave in my And you're gonna be crying when I have to leave. I know you. Yeah, you're a dumbass, but I still love you. I know. <clears throat> I'll have I, have that. <laughs> I love these people. You should be I, I know. You guys, okay, everyone in this ask, or in this chat room today, um, find, start messaging me. I am me, please. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, we should we should do this another time. I think I'm going to put up a post and ask what people want us to talk about next time. And then we are going to try and coordinate our idiotic schedules. And I'm taking Rachel's silence for that she agrees. <laughs> I like that shirt. See, this is what it's like talking to her. You are asking her questions about something, and then she's gonna put a coffee mug on the screen or a shirt on the screen. Have a shirt. Look at this quote. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, I like that one better. Not only do you have the coordination of a jellyfish, you have the attention span of a goldfish. Cheese. Let's talk about cheese. <laughs> I didn't say that. Lizzie said it. <laughs> I want to. I want to go back to the camera. I want to make make you, you know that name, Lizzie, is really distracting because I keep talk, thinking about the Lizzie Gordon. Let no, no. <laughs> I got it for. I got it. I got it. I already got it. I'm saving it. it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm saving it. And I lost all the idiotic pictures I had of you. Because my computer died. There is a god and he is good. I need I need new ones. Back up any? No. Dumbass. I know. I'm still I got I got someone I know that maybe can extract some of the things. So no. it's hoping. Let those pictures die. Sam's brother is a computer geek idiot. Oh. And computer geek and idiot wasn't necessarily relatable. He's just an idiot. Computer, they're not mutually exclusive. He's an. All right, my friends oh. are here. I gotta go. Okay. Bye. So we're gonna end this. Bye. Bye. And thank you for everyone who stopped by. And I love you, Rachel. Love you guys. Love you, Kari. Bye.